Hey guys, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I film fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related videos. If you are into that kind of thing, please consider subscribing and ring that notification bell down below so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And for today's video, I just wanted to share with you all what my opinions are on what is most essential for you to purchase to get you through pregnancy as far as fashion items go. So if you're interested in seeing what I think is the most beneficial thing to buy during your pregnancy, then just keep watching. For those of you who don't know, I am currently 36 weeks pregnant. This is my second pregnancy. So I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what you need to buy to get you through your entire pregnancy. And I'm more talking about your late second trimester and your third trimester, how to get through that. This video isn't really about how to make your clothes last longer and how to wear like regular pants or anything like that. This is to get you through when you are at your biggest during your pregnancy. We all know that maternity clothing is just ridiculously priced considering how long you're gonna be able to wear those items. It could just be for one pregnancy that you're able to wear them. In my case, I am 20 pounds lighter than I was my first pregnancy. So I wasn't even able to wear any of the clothing that I purchased during that time. So um, I just wanted to put just a list together for you guys, just in case you're in the same situation as me and you don't want to spend a fortune on clothing that you're not going to be able to wear for a long time. I'm a little bit budget conscious. I can't just spend money on whatever I want. And guys, I'm out of breath. <sighs> just from talking this pregnancy, I just get out of breath so easily. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, so I don't have the money or the funds to just spend on a bunch of different clothing. So if you're like me and you just want to kind of get the basics to get you through, then just keep watching this video. Um, but I'm going to start out with kind of the items that are maternity specific that you will have to go to the store and purchase from a maternity store or online. And then I'll kind of move into things that you can use in your closet that are not maternity at all. So keep in mind that all of these things that I'm going to talk about are what personally has worked for me and hopefully that will help you kind of narrow things down. But it, everything is going to depend on how much weight you gain during your pregnancy, how you carry, and just your general comfort level and your needs for your wardrobe. So for me, I am 20 pounds, like I said, 20 pounds lighter than I was my very first pregnancy, but during my first pregnancy, I carried differently and I could wear the same leggings, non-maternity leggings all the way through my pregnancy. This pregnancy, I was not able to do that. I had to purchase maternity leggings because anything that had a band that was a little bit tight around um, my pelvic area would cause a lot of Braxton Hicks. And I don't know if that was just because my body already knows what it's doing and it's already trying to prepare for labor. Not really sure, but just keep that in mind. Things will be a little bit variable. The first item that I feel like you cannot get away with when it comes to the end of your pregnancy are pants. Of course, this is going to depend on your occupation on what kind of pants you need. If you work in an office, you're probably going to want to purchase a couple pairs of dress pants. If you're a stay-at-home mom, you may just need a pair of jeans to get you through or some leggings and sweatpants, and then that's about it. So it really just depends on what your needs are. For me, I'm a nurse practitioner, so I bought one pair of maternity um, scrub pants because that's what I wear. If I were to work in an office um, that required that I wore business clothes, then I would probably purchase a couple pairs of slacks that were maternity just to get me through the week. I only work three days a week, so I felt that one pair of maternity scrubs was good for me. 
I just would rewear them. I don't deal with bodily fluids or anything like that. So I was okay with wearing them multiple days in a row without washing them. I wasn't doing anything that I was getting really nasty. And if I did that day, then I would wash between. But I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on maternity scrub pants because scrubs are already kind of expensive for basically pajamas. So I just stuck with just maternity scrub pants and then I ordered a maternity, not a maternity top, I ordered a larger um, work top because the company I work for, they do issue out uniforms and I just purchased something a little bit larger um, to get me through the rest of my pregnancy. The next thing that I found to be the most essential thing was a pair of maternity jeans. So I have these here that I got from ASOS. They have the under the belly band here. I find them to be very comfortable. I got them in a simple, they were a little bit darker of a wash, but they faded some because I've wore them and washed them several times. And for the most part, they are pretty simple and plain. They do have a raw hem at the bottom just to kind of give it a little bit more edge. But other than that, I just wanted to buy something that I could wear to church, I could wear to a nice dinner, I could wear casually, just an all-in-one pair of jeans that I wouldn't have to really think about um, when it came to getting dressed. Um, just something really simple, and I felt like this wash could be dressed up or down, especially when it was a little bit darker before it faded some. Um, I would just stick with buying maybe one or two pairs of jeans, depending on how much you're going to wear them during the week. But for me, I did buy two pairs. I bought one pair that had um, a similar wash as this, but they had rips at the knees because I just felt like I needed something to zhuzh up my wardrobe, I guess, during maternity and have something a little bit cute to wear. But I found myself not even reaching for them, so I felt like I kind of wasted my money there. I got these from ASOS, and everything that's available, I will link in the description down below. But um, I did feel like I wasted my money and I probably could have just went with one pair of maternity jeans and called it a day. Like I said, I got these jeans from ASOS and they ran about $40, something like that. I can't remember the exact pricing, which if you wanted something a little bit more affordable, definitely check out Target. They have a lot of good selection for a lot more affordable prices. But this pregnancy, I am a lot smaller than my first pregnancy. And so I was not able to find my size in Target, even online. Most of their jeans only go down to a size two. And I really needed a size zero to keep them staying up. So I had to go online and find a website that sold maternity jeans at in smaller sizing, which is why I chose ASOS. So still not a terrible price, but you know, Target does have some jeans that are a little bit more affordable and you can probably find them on sale a lot of the times. But anyway, um, just for reference, if you're petite like me, I weigh 125 pounds, I believe was the last weight that I got at the doctor recently. So the next essential item in terms of pants for me were maternity leggings. So you don't have to buy maternity leggings. If you can get away with it, I suggest that you just wear your regular leggings and continue with that throughout your pregnancy. Like I said, my first pregnancy, I was able to do that and it didn't bother me at all. But this pregnancy, it was so uncomfortable to wear anything with a band right around my pelvic area. It just was super tight was very irritating to my uterus, caused a lot of practice contractions. I went into preterm labor with my son. I didn't want to have anything that would cause any kind of irritation. So I went ahead and invested in two pairs of maternity leggings. These I got from Motherhood Maternity. They retail for, I believe, $21.99 originally, but they're always having sales at Motherhood Maternity. And I got these um, buy one, get one half off. So I really only spent about $15 on both pairs um, altogether. And these really have 
truly um, been worth every penny because I've worn them so much. They're super faded. I have grease stains on them from coming home and changing into them and cooking dinner. So they were very much well loved and worth the money because at this point they probably need to be donated or not even donated, just <laughs> thrown in the trash because they're that worn out. So, and I can actually wear them, you know, during the postpartum period for a period of time while my belly is still a little bit bigger. So if you are finding some uncomfortability, is that even a word? Probably not. Um, but if you are finding that you are uncomfortable in any of your pants that are non-maternity, I suggest finding some non -matern or maternity leggings or something similar so that you are comfortable because it is important to be, be comfortable. The time of the year is also going to be a factor in what you buy for maternity, obviously. So for me, I am my biggest during the hot, hottest part of the year um, for the most part because even though it's October, it's just now getting down to the middle of the 80s. So... <laughs> It's been hot pretty much the entire time that I've been pregnant. So I did invest in a pair of denim shorts and I just got um, these ones from Motherhood Maternity. I believe I paid around $30 for them um, or something like that. So they were well worth the price just because I did want to have a pair of shorts to wear because it is so hot outside. So when I didn't feel like wearing jeans, I did have these to fall back on. So if you're going to be your biggest and it's going to be super cold, obviously you wouldn't need a pair of shorts and you could just get maybe another pair of jeans and just alternate those out, you know, every couple of days. The next maternity specific item I would suggest purchasing are maternity tanks and maternity t-shirts. Now, you don't necessarily have to buy maternity specific ones, but I feel like right now, majority of things that are trending are usually a crop style shirt or they're just not quite long enough. So if you can find a shirt that's not maternity, go with that if it's long enough to cover everything. I just made it simple and went to the maternity section in Target and got a couple of t-shirts like black and white t-shirts and tanks. I cannot find my regular t-shirts to save my life. So I will try to find them online and link them below, but just any maternity t-shirt would work. Target has some that does not have the ruching on the side, which I really like because even though it's a little bit more, um, a little bit longer in the very front, because it's maternity, I feel like you can get away with wearing that after maternity as well. It's not as in your face. This is a maternity top. You can still wear them and just tuck them in the front. And that's what I do with my regular t-shirts anyways. And so it's something you actually can wear. But I do suggest getting a couple of basics. So I have this tank here as well as a gray one and a white one. And then I have a black and white t-shirt, which I said I could not find for life of me. I chose to get the ones that did not have the ruching on the side, like I said. And these are just really good because you can dress them up. You can dress them down. Even if it's hot outside, you can, you know, just wear the tank or the t-shirt alone with a pair of your maternity jeans. Or you can throw on a kimono if it's the summertime. And if I were to be really big during the fall and the winter season, I would just probably wear a pair of maternity jeans, a tank or a t-shirt, throw on a cardigan or a coat of some sort and you're good to go. You still look cute and put together but also comfortable at the same time. The next item that I think is super important to buy during your pregnancy that is maternity specific are bras. So you don't necessarily have to buy a bra that is maternity, but if you plan to breastfeed after, you might as well just go ahead and get a nursing bra because your boobs are going to get bigger during pregnancy. So you're going to need to get a bra um, that's going to fit your needs during pregnancy. And then after you deliver, your boobs are going to fill up with milk. So they're still going to be larger than your normal size. So I suggest just going ahead and getting nursing bras so that you can wear them during your pregnancy and then wear them after pregnancy as well if you're going to breastfeed or try to breastfeed. And so 
I have a couple of options. Make sure to check out my what's in my hospital bag part one and then you can see exactly which one is my favorite. I really like the Mori Bay one. That one is in the washing machine currently so I um, don't have it on me but right now I do have this bra from Amazon that I purchased. It's called I Love Sia. These have really um, been super comfortable. I had this same bra with my first um, baby. I breastfed him for 15 months and I wore these bras the entire time. Really, really liked them. Super comfortable. I'll have it linked below. But they have lasted this entire time. I probably could get some more just because they are kind of starting to wear out, but they, they will work for now. Um, but I do have a couple of these um, and they normally come in multi-packs and are very affordable. I also picked up this one which is a little bit more structured. It's one that I got from Target. It's the Auden um, brand and it is very comfortable. It's a little bit more structured for when I just kind of want to feel a little bit more secure I guess. Um, so you know that's this one to me is not necessary. This is just a little bonus item if you just wanted something that just helped girls out just a little bit more than you know a regular nursing bra that has no kind of support now this one doesn't have a whole lot of padding but it is a little bit more lined than the other one and as you can probably tell it is more structured the other bra that i just showed you the i love sia one is more of like a sports bra so that that's what i mean in terms of it's not exactly the most structured bra but it is very comfortable if you're going to get any bra during maternity i suggest something that does not have an underwire even the one that was more structured there is no underwire in it um, especially because right under here your bump kind of meets your boobs and so that creates a lot of discomfort if you have an underwire there, in my opinion. But I don't wear underwire in my bras when I'm not pregnant. I hate underwire. It is, to me, the most aggravating thing. You can find bras that are very supportive without the underwire. Trust me. So I did want to give you guys some ideas of how to incorporate non-maternity items into your wardrobe that can help get you through and also you can wear afterwards. So what I did was I picked up a couple of these pencil skirts here um, just in this color and I got a rest color. Um, I actually probably should have got something a little bit more neutral but I wanted something a little bit more fun just to add a little pop of color to my wardrobe. But I suggest probably just going for like a gray or a black or something like that so you can wear it more often. But um, these are very comfortable to wear. You can wear them above your bump and you can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can wear it with just a t-shirt and tie it right above your bump for a more casual look with a pair of sneakers. You could wear it to the office and wear like a button up and like a button up shirt, have it tied right above your bump, put on a blazer, put on a cardigan, you're good to go, it's dressed up, you look professional, you look nice, and it's still showing off your baby bump, which is really cute, but it's comfortable. So, and they, these are something that I can wear after pregnancy as well. Make sure to get things that are higher waisted. You could find something that goes up underneath your belly, but I find it to me more flattering when you show off your bump and you wear something above your bump and um, and give more of an elongating effect to your legs. Otherwise, if you kind of um, wear something that goes right up underneath your bump, it's going to cut you off and make your legs look shorter and it's not as flattering. The next thing that I want to talk about are tank dresses. So I have this one here that I got from Target that I can still wear after pregnancy. I don't know if you've noticed the theme yet, but I really was determined to find a lot of things that I could wear when I wasn't pregnant as well. But this one I got from Target, and it's just a simple tank dress that um, you can, again, dress up or dress down. You could wear a blazer over this if you wanted to to the office. On um, And then if your office lets you wear things that were a little bit more casual, you could throw on a denim jacket. You can wear a pair of sneakers with it. There's so much you can do with the tank dress. You could also just wear it by itself, put on a cardigan. So it really just depends on your mood and what environment that you are in. 
but these are stretchy. They'll go over your bump really nice and show off your belly. And um, I just think that these are a great staple to get you through pregnancy. Another essential item that may not seem like an essential item are crop tops. So yes, you can wear a crop top during pregnancy. If you just get something that's high-waisted, stretchy and high-waisted, like I said, that skirt, that pencil skirt that I showed you earlier, or even like a pleated skirt, you can wear that above your bump. And you can throw on a crop top with it. That'll hit you right above the bump. You don't have to worry about tying it. And then um, you still look super stylish and super cute. This one I've had for years. I'm not going to be able to link it below because it's probably not in store. But you can find things like this everywhere. It's just a little crop top that I got from American Eagle years ago. And I've worn this several times with one of those pencil skirts. It looks really cute and casual. I could throw a denim jacket over it and kind of tone it down. Or dress it up a little bit more with a blazer on top if I wanted to. But just super cute and flattering. Right now I am actually wearing a crop top with a black high-waisted skirt. Neither one of these items are maternity and I look stylish. I look like I'm trying to show off my bump and I'm not spending extra money on maternity clothes. These next items that I'm going to talk about are not necessarily essentials, but I did want to bring it up because if you're like me, you still want to look stylish during pregnancy. So these are some things that you can kind of incorporate. I keep talking about throwing things over your basic pieces. So making sure you have layering pieces. So of course you can throw on, like I said, a kimono. If it's the summertime or spring, throw on a kimono over those t-shirts or tanks and you instantly have an outfit. You look stylish still and super cute and your bumps still showing off really nicely. And then of course a cardigan. So cardigans are just essential to me in general. Like every girl needs as many good cardigans as you can get your hands on. I love cardigans. So of course during the fall and winter season have your cardigans, wear it over some t-shirts, and like I said, your bump will be showing off because the t-shirts are fitted, but then you have that extra layer of warmth and it automatically just makes you look more stylish because you have an additional layering piece. All right, guys, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And just a little announcement. I am 36 weeks pregnant, like I said at the very beginning of this video. And because of that, I am bound to go into labor at any point at this time. I am um, actually almost 37 weeks pregnant, so almost full term. But I did just want to give you guys a heads up that I may not be very consistent with uploading. I actually don't plan to upload during the initial period of bringing my newborn home. I'm not really going to focus on filming. I'm going to focus on adjusting to life with two and really getting to bond with my newborn baby. I'm new to YouTube, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to pre-film. So I did want to just let you guys know that, but I will be providing you all with updates and cute baby videos on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me over there. It's just life with Amber Lee. And I'll update you guys on what's going on in my daily life, but I don't plan to upload to YouTube until I kind of have a grasp on life itself after the newborn is here. So thank you for understanding, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video, and you all have a wonderful day. Bye!